Hey guys, Trey Campbell here, coming at you live with a, another video installment in the series of Nadex Trading. In this video, I'm going to go over the at the money binary options and how to capitalize on those. So stay tuned. Alright, alright, here we go. So uh, in this video here, I'm going to backtrack the chart to a previous trade that I was in uh, and a good trade that I was in here. And I want to show you exactly what got me triggered into this trade. So we had, um, this is where I'm looking here. This is the open. This is the Sunday Monday candle here. This little pin bar looking thing here. Now, uh, what I did was I patiently waited. I obviously had the OTMs already in but we're not going over those so I'll skip that right now so um, but um, uh, what we did what I did was I had I waited for this candle to end and when it ended in this fashion here this beautiful price action bar here that just screamed that it wanted to go lower uh, all I simply did was is I placed a limit order to sell uh, at the money on uh, Tuesday for $50 now at the point of time that I placed this it wasn't quite at fifty dollars so I had to wait for the market to actually come back up and and actually trigger this trade because I didn't want to be in any more than fifty dollars because that's an expensive enough trade as it is and you have to put a stop loss on those because you don't want to lose your whole fifty dollars so uh, basically what I did is I triggered the at the money here uh, for fifty dollars somewhere in there I can't remember exactly the the uh, the binary that I sold there but um, and then simply just place a stop loss up here so I said if the, you know if the market comes up into this area I'll just stop out 25 bucks or so or 30 bucks or whatever and just hit just take the loss and move on but in the case that it comes on down and I let it expire there's 50 bucks in my favor so you know, so it was a pretty close to one to one, and that's really what the best you're going to get with at the money uh, binaries. You're not going to get any more than one to one, unless your stop, your manual stop, is closer. You know, if it expires, it's a one to one. You know, because you can lose fifty or you can make fifty. If you've got it at fifty, a lot of the at the monies you're going to get. Uh, you, sometimes you might have to pay a little bit more for them, and then. Um, so that's something to be thinking about as well so you always want a manual stop on at the monies you don't want them to run out of control unless you're just comfortable with that um, block of loss if you're if you're comfortable losing the whole 50 and you're willing to let this thing go up for the possibility of it to come back down before Friday and expire in your favor then by all means hold on to it but for me <clears throat> with at the monies I always like to have somewhere I would uh, manually just stop out now the great thing about at the monies also is that if you are in an overbought scenario or even oversold if you know if the market's trending up and you're in an over oversold scenario in this case we're overbought and you know if we're if we're terribly overbought and it's early in the week and I do get stopped out I will do what they call roll and add the money which is mean just just means that I place another limit order for another binary near at the money at a higher price you know for it to roll over but I have to get another confirmation so that is a whole nother video lesson that we'll go over soon but for this video I just want to go over this particular trade and what happened was once this once this was in I was in this trade here at fifty dollars I had the stop loss above so I know exactly where I'm getting out and it just simply rolled right over and this is our Friday candle here so we expired in the money we made the fifty dollars per contract and it was easy as as can be so I mean that that is really all there is to at the monies there's really nothing uh, terribly complicated with them you just want to make sure that when your purchases when you purchase them you want to make sure that um, 
you're getting price action you've got your you're trading with its overall trend you want to make sure that you're you're coming into like if this is the market here we're trending down you know you want you want to hit it right there you want that that nice level of resistance for this thing just to have a continuation and that's exactly what you see here we're trending down we've moved up and we nailed it right there and now it moves down so that's that's basically the concept and that trade worked out very nicely and it was actually able to sell those OTMs down here for a profit as well uh, the OTMs I had down here they just you know I had to sell those for a loss but the ones I had up here they uh, you know the wins that I had here and here I made up for this loss and then some so plenty of money made uh, you know you have gotta put those OTMs on down here just because they're so cheap and you know in case something just crazy happens and you and you can't capitalize on them that's a lot of money to be made right there so um, what, what, I, what I'll do is I also had a and just to throw this out there for the next video I also had a uh, in the money trade on so we'll go over that in the next video but what I uh, was talking about there and at the money you want to wait for the price action uh, confirmation now that at the money is close to fifty dollars as you can get it and then you know be sure to place yourself a manual stop loss and then you know if it expires in your favor boom you've got it as simple as that hope this video helps guys